Let's balance the redox reaction for Al plus Cu2 plus gives us this Al3 plus plus Cu. So when we look at the redox reaction here, I've not written the states in just to simplify things. We have these general rules for balancing redox reactions. First, we want to write the oxidation numbers in. Here, the oxidation numbers, they're the same as the ionic charge. That's not always the case, but for this simple redox reaction, it turns out to be the same. Next, we're going to write the half reaction. So I can see the aluminum goes from 0 to plus 3, the copper plus 2 to 0. For me, it's easier just to look at what's reduced first. Plus 2 to 0, that got smaller. That's the reduction half reaction. That means up here we have oxidation. The number got bigger there. That's our oxidation. So we write the half reactions, they'll look like this. We have our oxidation half reaction and then our reduction half reaction. So now we need to balance each half reaction for the atoms of interest, oxygen, hydrogen, and then charge. So here we have aluminum and aluminum. That's balanced. Copper, copper. Those are balanced. Oxygen atoms, we don't have any, and we don't have any hydrogen atoms, so don't worry about that. The thing we do need to balance are the electrons, and we're thinking about balancing charge. So we're going to add some electrons here. I want to have both sides equal. So if I have a 3 plus here, I need to add a 3 minus for this all to add up to 0. So let's add 3 electrons. Down here, I'll add 2 negative charges, 2 electrons, to balance this. So all this is neutral, and this is neutral. Those are the balanced half reactions. Here's the thing though, the aluminum lost three electrons. Copper got them. So aluminum can't lose three and copper only get two. We need to balance the electrons. To do that, we could just multiply this entire thing here by two, because that would give us two times three is six electrons. Down here, we can multiply it by three. Three times two electrons is six electrons. So we'll balance the overall charge for electrons. What we do now is we add them back together and we simplify. So on this side right here, these, they're the reactants. We'll do those first. So two times the aluminum, three times the two electrons, three times the Cu2 plus, that gives us this here. Let's shrink this down a little bit. The products, that's right here. These are the products over here. So two times this here, three times the copper, that gives us the products. So two aluminum ions, two times three electrons, that's the six electrons, and then three times the copper. This is the balanced redox reaction. We're going to cross out these electrons here since they're on both sides. Clean that up. And that's the final balanced redox reaction. You can check the atoms. We have two aluminums here, two aluminums here, three coppers, three coppers. Atoms are balanced and charged. We have three times two plus, that's six plus. Two times three plus is six plus. Charge is the same on both sides. And that's it. This is Dr. B balancing the redox reaction for aluminum plus the copper two ion. You get the aluminum ion itself and then just solid copper. Thanks for watching.